Hi, my name is Philip King. Welcome to this tutorial series on writing a WordPress plugin. Since each of the tutorials in this series builds on each other, I recommend you progress through the tutorials in the order they are presented. All of the code for these video tutorials will be shown in the videos, but obviously you cannot copy the code using cut and paste from a video. So a text version of the code, along with articles to accompany the video series, is available on my website. The link is shown below. In previous lessons, we introduced plugins, built a basic working plugin template file structure, created a simple plugin class for our plugins, and produced some easy demonstration plugin examples. This lesson is part of the series covering the WordPress administration menus, panels, and pages. In this video, we will demonstrate the very basics of how to make an administration menu by producing a plugin which will add a submenu and an admin page to the existing WordPress settings menu. But before that, you need to know the basics of producing an admin menu and page for your plugins. What follows is a simple example of the three steps necessary for the creation of a plugin administration menu. Step one in the process is to create a function that contains the menu building code, my plugin menu in this example. This contains one function, add options page, whose purpose is to add a submenu to the settings menu. The parameters required for the add options page function are a page title, my plugin options, a menu title, my plugin, the capability required for this menu, manage options, a unique menu slug name to refer to this menu, and the function to be called to output the page content for this menu item, my plugin menu options. In step two, we need to register the above function, my plugin menu, using the admin menu action who. Notice, this is simply an add action interrupt function. With step three, we create the HTML code for the page to be displayed when the menu item is clicked. My plugin menu options in this example. This output code is just standard HTML. There is one thing to note in this function. Before doing anything else, you should always check to see if the user has permission to view the page. Hence the first if statement. We don't actually do anything particularly useful in this example other than state this is where our options form should be placed. This code, when inserted into our class template, will add a sub-level menu, My Plugin, under the WordPress Dashboard Settings top-level menu. When selected, the menu item will display our Options page, which in this instance just contains our little message. Notice that prior to activation, our menu item does not exist. Once our plugin is activated, the My Plugin menu item is inserted as a submenu item in the WordPress settings top menu, and when selected, displays our options page. This is about as simple as it gets. More complicated multi-layer menus can be added, and we will cover them in a later lesson. But let's face it, a nice simple one-page user interface is all that is required for most occasions. Okay. Let's see how to implement this code using our class template. Once again, I'll be using PDT Eclipse as my code editor in this exercise. To begin, we need to use our plugin class template to create a new plugin which we will call pkadminmenu0v1. So copy the pk plugin class template we created previously to a new folder in the WP Content Plugins folder and give it the name pkadminmenu0v1. Now we need to rename the PHP file, so open our new plugin folder and rename the PK plugin class PHP file to pkadminmenu0v1.php. Remember, the plugin file has to be the same name as the plugin folder with the PHP extension. Then open the file ready for editing. The first thing we need to do with our new plugin is enter a new plugin name and description, 
so that WordPress will recognize the plugin. We'll change the plugin name to PK Admin Menu 0 V1 and change the description to PK Admin Menu Demo 0 V1. We now need to create a more appropriate class name, which will be PK Admin Menu 0 V1 class. This is simply a case of renaming all the occurrences of the PK Plugin Template class to PK Admin Menu 0 V1 class. There are six changes to be made. I'm just going to use Find and Replace for this task. Now we have our plugin class, we need an instance of that class. So change the template instance PK Plugin Demo to the more appropriate name PK Admin Menu 0 V1 Demo. Next, we need to hook our function into WordPress. So enter the Add Action hook just after the placeholder comment. To do, enter Plugin Actions and Filters here. Now enter the sublevel menu function just after the placeholder comment. To do, enter action and filter methods here. And finally, enter the function which will actually display the HTML code containing our menu options. With the code entered, let's save the file and see what happens in WordPress. Log into WordPress as the administrator and navigate to Dashboard Plugins Installed Plugins and check that our plugin has been recognized but is inactive. Activate the plugin, open the Settings menu item and there at the bottom of the Settings menu is our menu item, My Plugin. Select the My Plugin menu item and our almost blank PK Demo plugin page is shown along with our note. The options form would go here. Well everything worked as planned so it's time to clean things up and deactivate the plugin. With the plugin deactivated notice that the My Plugin menu item is removed from the settings menu. Hopefully this tutorial gave you a good insight into how simple an administration menu can be. I dare say it looks a little daunting at first, but just follow the three steps outlined in the Introduction to Administration menus and you should be fine. I will be expanding on this lesson by adding more complex admin interfaces, saving our data to the WordPress database and taking our text to hyperlink tutorial a stage further in the next lessons on admin menus. Well that's all for this tutorial on administration menus, see you in the next lesson.